Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 12, IAC, CBSC and West Bengal board also. Application of derivatives, part 18. That means you have already got 17 lesson. You must go through that lesson. Now part 18 on problems on maximum minimum. Please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book exercise 7.8, sum number 7. Sum you will get in your book and here also it is written clearly. Three numbers are given whose sum is this. Pay your attention on the solution. Here the sum of the three numbers is 180 given. And the first two of them, first two of them is 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2. That is given. Let the first two numbers be x and 2x. Therefore, the third number 180 minus first and second by simplifying we are getting 180 minus 3x. Let fx, fx that is the product first, second and third by product we are getting this. Then we have to simplify by simplifying we are getting 360x square minus 6x cube. Therefore, differentiating with respect to x we get differentiating that is x f dash x and differentiation of x square that is 2x, differentiation of x cube that is 3x square. By simplifying, we are getting this 720x minus 18x square. Now again, f double the second order derivative, differentiation of x that is 1, differentiation of x square that is 2x. By simplifying, we are getting this. Now f dash x equal to 0 for turning point. Therefore, 720 that is this equal to 0, this equal to 0. Then by taking common and simplifying, we are getting x equal to 0 or 40. But value of x lies between 0 and 180. Therefore, x equal to 40. Also, f dash x equal to this, that means in place of x, we have to put the value that is 40. After putting the value 40 in place of x and simplifying, we are getting minus 720 that is less than 0 implies fx has local maxima at x equal to 40. Hence the required numbers x, 2x and 18, 180 minus 3x that is by simplifying by putting the value of x 40 and simplifying we are getting 40. 80 and 60. If you follow the step, then easily you will understand. We are getting the numbers 40, 80 and 60. This is the answer. Next sum. Next sum given from R.D. Summers book. Amongst all the pairs, numbers which the product is and find those whose sum is least, is the least. Here is the greatest and here is the least. You must notice this attentively. Now pay your attention on the solution. Let the required number be x and y. Then x y equal to 256 product that is given. And y equal to by simplifying y equal to 256 by x. This is denoting by 1. And the sum that is sum of the numbers that is x plus y. In place of y we are putting the value of y that is 256 by x. Now differentiating with respect to x we get s equal to this part we are taking in numerator that is 256 into x to the power minus 1. Now differentiating that is differentiating of s that is ds by dx. Here we have used the symbol f dash x and here we are using the symbol d by dx. d by dx. Differentiation of x that is 1 and differentiation of 256 into x to the power minus 1 that is formula x to the power n n into x to the power n minus 1 by applying the formula and simplifying we are getting 1 minus 256 x to the power minus 2 and again we have to find out here we have used the symbol f double less and here d square s divided by dx square differentiation of constant that is 0 differentiation of this that is 256 and minus in place of n that is minus 2x to the power minus n, uh, n to the power minus 1. So by simplifying we are getting uh, 500 
multiply minus minus plus to 512 x to the power minus 3. Now, turning point ds by dx equal to 0, here fx equal to 0, and this is why here f dash a, a, a ds by d by dx, first order differentiation equal to 0, first order differentiation we have got that is this. First order differentiation, this, that is this. So, uh, 1 minus 256x square, this is x to the power minus 2, and when it will be in denominator, then power will be changed. So, equal to 0, this equal to 0, by simplifying, we are getting 1 equal to 256x square. By simplifying, we are getting x equal to 16. Also, d square x dx square equal to this. That is 512 x cube. So, in place of x, we have to put 16. Here, we have put a 40 and here 16. Here 16. By putting and simplifying, we are getting 1 by 8. For the sake of calculation, we have changed the expression in this way. That is implies the sum is minimum at x equal to minima at x equal to 16. Putting x equal to 16 in 1, that is 256 by x in place of x, that is 16. And by simplifying y also we are getting 16. Hence the required numbers are 16 and 16. This is the answer. Both the methods same. Here only we have changed the symbol that is dy by dx and here f dash x, f double dash x. This only the difference. Which one you are feeling comfort? That one you may follow. No matter. Okay. Thank you everybody.